Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Her. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So. Because you know what today today is? Today is Wednesday. So anything can happen today. That's right. It's anything can happen day. And on this day, I normally sit down on my computer and anything that pops up into my head, that's what I will do. Now, I normally have been doing K-pop mails uh, on Wednesday, so uh, I'm still going to keep in doing that. Uh, but after doing Rich Chiga or Rich Brian, I couldn't leave on a down note. So I had to do another one that I'm probably going to enjoy a whole heck of a lot better than Rich Brian. And that is Monster X or Wakanda Forever, Monster X. Uh, and this is called Love Killer. Um, I chose this one because it only came out, let's see, when I did it. Okay, it has 51 million views and it came out a year ago. So, um, I figured, well, it must be pretty good. Got 51 million views. It's, it's, it's decent. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. Now, if you like videos like this and others on the channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button because I'm doing at least 15 videos each and every week. So, um, I remember I did two Monster X songs that I did like, so I can only think again, I know I should enjoy this video. So without any further ado, here is Monster X and Love Killer. And here we go. Got room for one more. I'm a slate, I'm a chill, I'm a kill. Shake and put talk a bunch of trigger, yeah, thank you, thank you. Only chum a psycho, punch him in the mitra. Do the do, do the do, do the do, do the do. Martin got the tonja. Get your buck, get your buck. Take a shot, take a shot, take a shot. Like I'm drunk enough, sir. Check him out, check him out. Take a shot. Chum a hair, chum a hair. Chum a hair, chum a hair. I'm not gonna love you. That's right, you look in my eyes Straight into my eyes And just say I want you to eat me like a main dish To go a day to the hot dish Eating clish, but I'm gonna pass it I'm just a little bit of a girl body heart I'm a savage, savage, the love is rare Japanese, I'm a slave, I'm a chill, I'm a kill Shake him, but talk a bunch of I'm a slave, I'm a chill, I'm a kill
Hush, hush. I'ma take you down. Hush, hush. I'ma take you down. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I make you anxious? So that was Love Cover by Monster X. Now, after getting a lesson from somebody uh, a, a couple of weeks ago, how, um, you know, K pop as, as we know it now was created in the 90s when um, people like Teddy Riley uh, went over to Korea to produce certain artists. And bring them into like the 20th century as far as being you know you know popular and so as opposed to being old traditional style and so at that time hit you know k-pop was bred from like hip-hop uh, R&B hip-hop not hip-hop hip-hop as well all these things blended together and of course if you're using Teddy Riley then you're going to have uh, something that is well composed funky because at the time Teddy Riley not only had a uh, guy he had today he had uh, black street he had all three of these groups where he was in it the only thing changed were the other people around that so um, but still he was in, you know, he was front and center, except for when it was Guy, when you had Aaron, um, oh God, what was his name? Aaron, Aaron something. I can't remember his, Aaron Hall, there it is. Woo! I would have lost my black card if I couldn't remember Aaron Hall. When you had Aaron Hall and Guy, and today was different. Um, and then, like when Black Black Street came around, when you think of uh, the song "Rump Shaker," I hear I hear Teddy Riley's voice, and I hear Dr. Dre on the track as well. You know, Teddy Riley is in charge of whatever he puts his hands on. So what I'm getting at here is that you know when this started off, it had dun, 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 dun. I like that just with the bass and a little bit of the beat and the hand claps and then it got into it and, and, it, and it stuck with that kind of like a rhythm but then things got a little bit more um, you know almost like that kind of jazz that Miles Davis played where everything was you know going on at once and eventually it, everything meshes together which it did and these guys look very fine in their suits and you know with their racing gloves on looking like they came straight out of a anime you know you always see somebody in an anime wearing a suit and racing glasses even though they might not be behind the car or they just got out of a car they don't take off the gloves um, and they all have the you know the different color hair and you know stuff like that so you know that's that's still cool to me because you know Americans really can't get away from the, get into that type of things or hip-hop Americans can't really get into that without being um, a part of the LGBTQ community um, because you know hip-hop as far as in the United States is based upon male bravado and then the women got out of it and then was women's sexuality over the male and you know making them in charge so um they're they're you know if it wasn't for little nas x uh you know hip-hop would still be you know the same you know you know the guys wearing the baggy baggy pants and talking about you know whatever whatever you know the women the money the cars you know what's what did uh what did little Kim, Kim say? The key to life, money, power, respect. Um, those are like the three things, money, power, respect, and then women. Um, so, I did like it. I liked it a lot. And it shows that, um, you know, they have a different range about them. Um, 
written, you know, not all of their songs sound alike. Or even back in the day, you could tell, you know, certain songs you could tell came from one album because there was something that was linking them all together, whether it be a particular instrument, whether it be, you know, particular lyrics or uh, uh, a subject matter that's linking them all together. You could always tell that that was there. And I, you know, so far, you know, I haven't heard three months, I've heard three months to X songs that don't sound like they were all on the same album. Um, and that's a good thing. So if you are still here, I thank you very much for staying tuned. I really do appreciate it. First and foremost, I want you guys to like the videos as much as I like making them for you. And then after that, all you need to do to help me out with my channel is to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Peace.